Hello students, this lecture is about infection. Are infection and disease same or are they similar? Actually, they are different. Infection is defined as the entry and invasion of the host body by pathogen, its multiplication and damage produced in the body of the host because of the toxins which it produces. Disease is the final outcome of infection process. Pathogen is defined as an agent which is capable of causing infection. Different pathogens are viruses, prions, bacteria, nematodes, roundworms and pinworms, arthropods such as ticks, mites, flea and lice, and fungi. These two bacteria are discussing whether we are more infectious than the laughter of these children playing on the slide. Different types of microbial disease. Infectious disease or infection means the disease resulting from the infection process. Contagious disease is that disease which is transmitted through contact. This contact can be the direct or the indirect contact. Communicable disease means those diseases which can spread from the infected to the healthy person. They are transmitted from one host to the other by the means of air, dust, soil, water, food, insects, animals, inanimate objects, etc. The infections can be also classified on the basis of the signs and symptoms which they produce. When the infection has its classical signs and symptoms, that is called symptomatic infection. On the other side, the asymptomatic infection is that infection where the symptoms are absent. The person appears to be normal. So they are a threat to the community. Asymptomatic infections are also called inapparent, silent or subclinical infection. Latent infection also known as inactive or dormant infection. Here the pathogen is present in the body of the host for some time but it is in the inactive form. Later on it may activate to produce the symptomatic infection. Acute infection is the infection which has just appeared as the result of the growth multiplication of the pathogen. The sim symptoms are just seen. Whereas the chronic infection is the infection which is lasting for very long duration, say for weeks, for months, sometimes it can be for also a year. It is a long lasting infection. Primary infection is the infection produced in the body of the host when the pathogen enters for the first time. Secondary infection is dead infection in the host in the presence of the primary infection. The infection is produced by secondary pathogen. It will cause the infection in the body when only the body is infected previously or simultaneously with the primary pathogen. The next term is reinfection. Reinfection is the infection in the same host by the same pathogen. After the first exposure and infection of the host by the primary pathogen, the host has recovered. Now the same pathogen again causes the infection. Opportunistic infections, they are because of the less harmless or the pathogens which are present in the host body as the normal microflora. They are looking for an opportunity which is in the form of the weakening of the host immune response or stress condition, hormonal imbalance or certain antibiotic or the steroid therapy. Common example are the 
candida infection in the case of the AIDS patients. Congenital infections, these are the infections which are transmitted from the mother to the baby. They can be transmitted before birth, during birth or after birth. Cross infection is an infection which spread from one organism to the another organism. So all of the infections which are transmitted, they are actually cross infections. Nosocomial infections are also called hospital acquired infections. They are acquired in the patients due to the visit in the hospitals. Iatrogenic infections are the infections which are because of the negligence of the physician, the nurses, paramedical staff or the equipments which are used for the diagnosis or treatment of the patient. Common example are the AIDS, Hepatitis B which can be transmitted by the use of contaminated needles and by the transfusion of infected blood and blood products. Occult infection is a hidden infection. For initial times there are no symptoms but later on the secondary manifestations are seen. The infections can be also classified upon the number of cases which are appearing in a particular time interval. Endemic infections are those infections which are always present at a particular location. The number of infected person can be less but the infection is persistently present. Epidemic when there is a sudden outbreak large number of cases are seen within a short time interval it is called epidemic pandemic is the epidemic in broader sense the epidemic is seen at different geographical locations sporadic infection are those infection in which very few limited cases just one or two are seen the infections can also be classified on the basis of location into localized. The infection which is restricted to a particular location. Generalized which is present in more generalized manner more than one location or throughout a organ or a system or the host body. The bacteremia is the presence of bacteria in the blood not only the bacteria there can be fungemia there can be also viremia it results due to the trauma burns or due to the infection of the visceral organs septicemia is different from bacteremia not only the bacteria is present but it is also producing the toxic products in the blood we have discussed different types of classification this classification and understanding of the infection will help you in the further study of medical microbiology thank you